Have you ever wondered how capacitors work, this tiny yet powerful component of many electronic devices? Well, let's dive right into it. Capacitors, my friends, are the unsung heroes of the electronic world. They're found in almost every gadget you can think of, from your smartphone to your car's stereo system. Now what's their superpower? Capacitors are like reservoirs. But instead of storing water, they store electrical energy. Imagine a reservoir holding back water until it's needed. Similarly, capacitors hold on to electrical charge until it's time to release it. They act as a temporary storage space for electricity, ready to release energy when your device needs a little extra juice. Just as a reservoir releases water to generate power or irrigate fields, a capacitor releases its stored energy to power up a part of your device. So, capacitors are like tiny reservoirs in our electronic devices, storing energy for use when needed. Now that we know what capacitors are, let's dive into how they actually work. Think of a capacitor as a very special kind of sponge, but instead of soaking up water, it soaks up electrical energy. A capacitor is made up of two metal plates separated by an insulator, a material that doesn't allow electricity to pass through. This insulator is known as a dielectric. When an electrical current is applied to the plates, the capacitor begins to soak up the energy. This happens because the electric charges have a strong desire to get from one plate to the other, but they can't. The dielectric is in the way. So they build up on the plates, creating an electric field between them. This is how a capacitor stores energy, much like a sponge soaking up water. But what happens when we need that energy back? Well, that's when things get really interesting. When the electrical pressure or voltage is decreased or removed, the charges on the plates are free to move again. They rush back across the dielectric, releasing the stored energy back into the circuit. This is similar to how a sponge releases water when squeezed. This soak and release function of a capacitor makes it invaluable in many electronic devices. It's like a mini rechargeable battery that can charge and discharge in a blink of an eye, making it perfect for smoothing out power supply voltages filtering noise in signal processes, or storing energy for a sudden demand. But remember, not all capacitors are created equal. The type of dielectric used and the size of the plates can greatly affect a capacitor's ability to store energy. Some capacitors can hold a small charge for a long time, like a tiny sponge, while others can soak up a lot of energy quickly, like a big thirsty sponge. The world of capacitors is vast and varied with each type having its own unique characteristics and applications. But at the heart of it all, they all operate on the same principle, soaking up and releasing electrical energy. Just as a sponge soaks up and releases water, capacitors soak up and release electrical energy. Interestingly, not all capacitors are created equal. There are different types, each with its own special characteristics. Let's delve deeper into the world of capacitors and get to know two of the most commonly used ones ceramic and electrolytic capacitors. Ceramic capacitors, as the name suggests, are made from a ceramic material. They are generally small, making them the perfect fit for devices where space is at a premium. Think about your smartphone or even your laptop. These devices are packed with technology and every square millimeter counts. In such compact environments, ceramic capacitors shine. They may be small, but they play a huge role in ensuring the smooth operation of these devices. On the other hand, we have electrolytic capacitors. These are typically larger and are used in devices that require a larger amount of stored energy. They're like the heavy lifters in the world of capacitors. You'll find them in power supply circuits, audio amplifiers and larger electrical appliances. They help smooth out voltage fluctuations and store large amounts of energy. So, in a nutshell, the type of capacitor chosen depends largely on the application. The compact ceramic capacitor is the go-to for space-constrained devices, while the larger electrolytic capacitor is used when more energy storage is needed. Whether it's the compact ceramic capacitor or the larger electrolytic capacitor, each type has its own role in our electronic devices. Capacitors are not just components in a device, they are part of our daily life. They are at the heart of many devices we use every day, televisions, computers, mobile phones. These unsung heroes store energy for later use, controlling the flow of electricity and ensuring our devices work efficiently. Imagine watching your favorite show without a smooth picture or your phone dying quickly. 
without capacitors. That could be a reality. Thank you, fantastic viewers, for being a part of the Fix Flare tech community. Your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll unravel another fascinating tech topic. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is MQ Joshi, signing off from Fix Flare Tech. See you soon.